This is Ty Anderson with OfficeDeveloper.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Master Data Services for SQL Server 2008 R2. Now, Master Data Services runs only on the 64-bit version of SQL Server 2008, so you'll have to be running uh, Windows Server 2008 in a 64-bit operating system. And it doesn't install as part of the default install of SQL Server 2008 as well. So once you install SQL Server 2008, which I've already gone ahead and done on my system here, is you then need to go into the, the CD or the DVD or the ISO, however you have it mounted to your computer, and go into the master data services directory in the x64 and into the whatever language you are installing and just double click on the master data services MSI file to initiate the, the Windows installer. Alright, so we have our welcome screen. We'll hit next. I'm going to go ahead and sign my life away and accept the terms in the license agreement. And I'll leave, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and type my name in here. And I'll take the defaults here, so the program files and Microsoft SQL Server. And I'll go ahead and hit install. And I'm going to let this install and uh, just turn off the video and, and uh, resume after the installation. But this is really all you have to do to install. I mostly just wanted to show you where the installation program is on the disk and also that it does not install as part of a default installation of SQL Server 2008 R2. So I'll hit install and I'll let this run and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, now that the installation of Master Data Services is complete, all we need to do is hit finish of the installation dialog and the process will automatically start the configuration wizard for Master Data Services. So I'll click finish and now here's our Master Data Services Configuration Manager all ready for us to walk through the configuration steps. So the Configuration Manager we really just need to configure two things. One's the databases here and the web configuration that hosts that would basically be the, the administrator tool where we access Master Data Services. Um, so the first step is the databases and in this case I don't have anything set up and I don't have an existing master data services that I could choose so in this case I'm going to create a database which brings up uh, the create database wizard here's the welcome screen I'm going to click next I'm going to use the default instance on my server it's just the actual name of my server uh, the authentication type I can choose between SQL Server account and integrated security I have mine set up for just integrated security and I'll test that connection that's great, I'm doing okay there. So go ahead and click Next, where I can specify a database name, and I'm just going to use MDS for Master Data Services. And I can also choose to accept the default collation or select my own, uh, you know, Chinese Simplified or something like that. Uh, since I speak English and, and like that, I'm going to go ahead and keep the default SQL Server collation. Click Next. And in terms of the service account, and same thing on the next screen for the administrator account, I'm going to go ahead and use my administrator account. I highly recommend for a production environment that you not do that, that you separate those out, follow the best practices of SQL Server security, and have a different service account and a different administrator account. Uh, but since this is a demo, we're just going to take the shortcut of using the administrator account. So here we go. I'm all set up. This is my review or summary screen and everything looks okay to me and I will click next and we'll let this process run it's going to take a few minutes uh, creating the database is pretty quick but then it runs several database scripts uh, within that MDS database and that takes a few minutes uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll restart it when uh, when this is complete Okay, everything finished uh, successfully, so running the database script, verifying its creation and applying connection rights, everything's good, so I'll click finish. And now we have our system settings where I can, uh, you know, fine tune everything here. So, you know, one of the biggest ones here is this master data services root URL that we're going to want to use. Um, and then also there is the, you know, notice the database mail profile is not created where we could create a profile. 
you know, we can name it, specify account name, and then specify our outgoing SMTP mail server as well as the authentication. I'm going to leave that alone for this demo. Um, really, the main thing you need to know is just you need to put in email addresses, uh, reply email address, uh, uh, an actual SMTP server where you have rights where you can relay mail. Uh, something that you have that you know that you can set up and from your server it's trusted and, and will relay the mail for you. Uh, I'll click cancel. And now next let's go over here to the web configuration and complete that component. In terms of the web configuration we're going to want to create a web application that hosts the MDM admin pages. Uh, we can choose to use the default website or we can create a website and, and, and with the default website, which is what we're going to use in this demo, notice over here the informational uh, blurb that says this website has no master data services application. Either click create application right down here or create one, or to create one, excuse me, or select or create another site. So we could create another site or if we had a different other site, we could click that, change that. Either way, it doesn't matter whatever site we have, whether you create a new site or choose an existing site, you'll need to go ahead and create the MDM application for that site. So we'll do that for the default website by clicking the Create Application button. So we're gonna, we have the path here. Uh, we'll use the MDS alias right here uh, for the site. So it would be like localhost slash MDS. The application name, that's fine. Uh, for the username, I'm going to go ahead and use my administrator account. Specify its password. And click OK. Oops, let me redo my password. Okay, so now we have our application set inside of the default website, and now for the database, there we go. We're going to go ahead and select that MDS database that we created earlier in the database configuration step. Click OK. Now we have the instance set to the Tyrant 5 server, and the database is MDS. And here I'm going to go ahead and choose to enable the web services, which web services gives us the ability uh, programmatically to access uh, MDS and do with it what we want to. So I'll click apply and after hitting apply uh, it's going to go ahead and launch the application in the web browser and that way we'll be able to see the administrator interface. Alright, let's click OK. Okay, that, that, uh, let me check uh, Internet Information Services, see why that's not going. It's a good bet that the site is actually not running. Let's check the default website. And yeah, that is indeed the case. So we'll start the site and try that page again. Actually. There we go. All right, so here is the Master Data Services uh, administration panel where we can explore hierarchies, we can uh, manage model versions, we can integrate with other systems, uh, you know, create and manage, create and manage models, entities, attribute groups, business rules, derived hierarchies, etc., and configure our users. So that's all there is to it to install and configure the base program master data services at this point in time what's left to do is to start using the system where you start creating models and integrating uh, source data into your models. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.